So if you are brand new to using DaVinci Resolve, you're probably overwhelmed with the amount of features that it offers, especially if you've never used a video editor before. But one of the things that's really going to help you over time is learning how to use shortcuts. And let me tell you, DaVinci Resolve has a lot of them. So if you go up here to DaVinci Resolve, then you go to keyboard customizations. There are, I would say literally hundreds of shortcuts for each different application within DaVinci Resolve. And you could set your own shortcuts as well. So there is a lot here. And because of that, you're probably thinking as a beginner, which shortcuts are the best? Now, for most people, they're actually going to be using the edit page or edit tab. And so today, I'm going to be covering my top 10 best shortcuts for beginners. So let's go ahead and start off with the first three shortcuts that you're probably going to be using more than any other shortcut. So typically, whenever you go into video editor, if you wanted to actually play for it, you just press Work out the space bar. Fine and then it'll go ahead and play. However, this can be, I would say, kind of slow, and sometimes you might not have the type of playback that you want. And so because of that, DaVinci Resolve gives you three different shortcut keys. They are J, K, and L. So let's start off with L, and I know that sounds weird, but whenever you press L, that's the same as playing forward. But the one thing I do want to mention so is this is that plays a it forward. microphone. It is. And then the other key right next to it is K. And K is it's to very stop. Sensitive. So, and then finally, if you want to play backwards, there's J. And that'll play it backwards, including the audio as well. But what's really nice about these keys is not only can you play forward, backwards, and stop, but if you play forward or backwards and you press the key multiple times, it actually goes faster. So let me show you an example. So I press play here. It is very sensitive. So if and then I press it again, and it's faster. And then I press it again. And then similarly, if I go backwards, and then I press it again, it goes faster. And then I press it again, it goes faster yet again. So that makes things really easy. And since the keys are right next to each other, I think it is a lot easier than pressing the space bar to play and then using your mouse to move the playhead. So this is really nice and it makes it super simple for you to easily play, go forward, go back or stop whenever you are editing. And so the next shortcut is one that you might not use at the beginning, but later on you're probably gonna use it more and more. And that mode is the trim edit mode. And so what does that mean? Well, typically whenever you're in edit, you have the selection mode. So that is the default, but there are other modes here. These are the most frequently used. So that's why DaVinci put it up here. And the one next to it is trim edit. And so in general, what this allows you to do is move to different parts of this clip without actually having to do any cuts. So let me show you what I mean by that. So I'm right here and then I'm moving this around and you see this, it moves it within the clip. And you could do this with other parts of this as well, where you can move it around and you could change where it begins, ends and so forth without having to do cuts. And so that is a mode that you probably will be using later on. Um, I use it a lot more now than I did at the beginning. And having this shortcut of just hitting T makes it so much easier whenever I want to use that mode. And so the next Two shortcuts are probably going to be ones that you use probably just as much as J, K, and L. And this is going to the beginning of a clip or to the end of a clip. So say, for example, you were right here in the middle of a clip and you wanted to go to the beginning of the clip. Well, how you would do that is you want to go to the beginning. You just hit the semicolon key and the semicolon key is right next to J, K, L. So that makes it really convenient. And if you want to go to the end of this particular clip, all you have to do is hit the key next to the semicolon, which is apostrophe, and then it goes to the end. So really handy tool whenever you want to go to the beginning or the end of a clip. And similarly, the next two shortcuts are very, very useful. And honestly, I didn't find out about this till a lot later. So just like we did where we went to the beginning of a clip and to the end of the clip, 
these two keys will actually go to the beginning of your entire project and to the end. I can't tell you how many times I was actually scrubbing to my project, doing this, and then I was like, oh man, I need to go to the beginning, and I didn't know what the shortcut key was. I just would have to drag my mouse all the way to the end or expand it out first before I could drag it there, and that was really annoying. And so in this case, DaVinci Resolve already has some really nice default keys to do that. And so if you press home, it'll go to the very beginning of the project. And then to go to the end, you just use the end button shortcut. And now you're at the end of your project. Super, super handy. And I wish I would have used this a lot earlier instead of having to manually move my mouse all the way to the beginning or the end. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. Now this next shortcut will really be handy whenever you want to add more clips to your project. Now there's many ways in which you could do that and DaVinci Resolve does give you some shortcuts for the most used ones right here. So let me show you what I mean by that. So typically if you wanna add a clip, you would go here to your source and then normally I would simply drag it down to the project timeline to add it. And even though that works, it is definitely not the most efficient method. And thankfully DaVinci Resolve does give you many options to do that. So if you didn't want to drag it down, you could also do this where you would go to the source and then drag it over here and you have all these other options, which is really awesome. But the one that I probably use the most is insert. Okay, and so that will allow you to insert the clip uh, wherever you have your playhead, just like I did there. But uh, there's also a shortcut for that. So you can use it here or just simply press F9 and it'll insert the clip. Really handy, especially if you have a lot of clips and you didn't want to have to scroll through it and then have to drag it down and so forth. It'll just save you a lot of time. And then over time, you could actually use the other different methods to add a clip by using these here or there's some shortcuts for the most used ones right here but insert clip is the one that i probably use the most and then the final shortcut is one that you might not even know existed and that is the ability to actually turn off your audio while you're scrubbing through your clips so what do i mean by that well by default whenever you have your clip and then you're scrubbing through and it has audio you're going to be able to hear the audio <laughs> So that is really useful uh, whenever you want to hear the audio as you're scrubbing, but what if you didn't want to hear the audio? Well, there is a shortcut for that. And all you have to do is hit shift and then S. And now when you scrub through, it is silent. And then you could turn this back on anytime you want. And there you go. And so that is one shortcut that I didn't realize I needed until I wanted to turn off the audio while I'm scrubbing. So those are my top shortcuts in DaVinci Resolve for beginners, specifically in the edit page or edit tab. And as you go through each of these other ones, there are many shortcuts for these as well. And as I stated a little bit earlier, uh, you could definitely create your own shortcuts whenever you need it. But if there are other shortcuts that you use that are really valuable for your editing needs, be sure to leave in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my DaVinci Resolve tutorials, tips, and tricks, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you on another episode.